Criminy. This new software takes a ridiculous amount of time to install. How long have I been here anyway? Uh, let's see, it's uh, 12.35 p.m. and I got here just a little after lunch. Uh, that's over 30 minutes and this stupid installation is still running. The rest of the gang are probably already back from the usual Thursday burger run. I guess this means yet another vending machine lunch today. Man, man, I'm tired of corn chips. Don said it earlier. It drew the short straw this time, didn't you? Man, that guy gets under my skin. Thinks he knows everything, what with his certifications and those thick books of his. Guy's even bragging about PowerShell. Seriously, who needs PowerShell? I mean, why get process or whatever it's called when you can just bring up Task Manager? It's right there. Shoot, I can do anything I need with PS Exec, and, and he knows it. Know it all? He's right, though. This new app, the companies have it us installed pretty much everywhere. It's been Ampeda for, like, what, a month now? We're just not that big a company, I get it, but when a single software installation takes over 30 minutes per machine, and we got like 60 machines, those numbers, they start adding up. In fact, how many is that, anyway? Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, 30 minutes per machine. Uh, no, I better go 40 just to be sure. So 40 minutes per machine uh, times uh, 60 machines is 2,400 minutes. Whoa, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Not everybody needs this software. Uh, we're not installed on, I think, like half the desktops. So, so I guess about 30 machines then. So, so that's 30 machines uh, times uh, 40 minutes each is 1,200 minutes. Divide that by uh, eight hours in a day is, huh? 150 hours? 150? Seriously, 150 hours? I'm going to be sitting around here for a couple of weeks, at least, coordinating a free hour for some 30-odd users on 30-odd machines for one freaking software installation. I, I mean, I could be da dancing around doing like 10 of these at once, but, yeah, well, we all know how well that went last time, didn't we? I wonder, maybe we could get a, a group of the guys together and come in some Saturday. Yeah, just knock this thing out. You know, bam! You know, Saturdays they aren't that e they're, they're not that busy. Office is dead. I could, you know, I could pick up uh, pick up a couple of pizzas as a bribe. Uh, no, man, this is my burden to bear. I hate to ask them to come on on their day off. I gotta admit, uh, everybody's getting seriously tired of pizza. There's gotta be another way. What was that thing Don was talking about the other day? Uh, a bundler, a packer, a packager, a packager, something about a software packager. Uh, install, install still got like 15% left or so here. Let me, uh, let me Google that up on the inner tubes. Let's see, software packager, uh, uh, MSI, uh, uh, here, software package. Start easy. Uh, let's see here. All right, software package. Let me go down here. Uh, a software package is um, a special method of distributing and installing software to a computer. That's pretty generic. Uh, let me try a different one. Okay, how about uh, uh, MSI application installers? Huh. Uh, what does this link say? Um, uh, package and edit MSI application installers. Designed for IT admins to easily create and distribute. Yeah, easy's good. <laughs> Goodness knows we could use a little easier on here for a change. Uh, this this new software is actually an MSI installation, for whatever it's worth. I wonder. Huh. Let's see. Uh, here's an FAQ. 
Uh, let's see. Ah, <laughs> exactly my question. Why would I pack package applications? Let's see here. Indeed, why? Why, Don? Why would we? Uh, creating a packaged application ensures an application is deployed consistently throughout the enterprise. Additionally, when creating a package, you can validate and even test deploy the reliability of the deployment. No user interaction would be required unless specified to deploy the application. Wait a minute. So, th this software packager thing, right? It, it lets me create a, a package out of a software installation. And, and then the package runs what without user interaction? I guess that means <laughs> I guess that means my interaction in this case. Funny. Not funny. So 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 this thing, uh, it takes a look at an installation. It 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 like bam snapshots a picture of the computer and and, and then I go and install this super stupid software one time and then I gotta run through all that oh god the nine step config that's required after the software is done installing oh well, wait a minute so so then I snap another picture and it figures out what changed jeebus this could this thing could solve everything so wait a minute uh, with this one thing, we we watch to see how 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 software this thing can watch how to see how software gets installed. Well, then we repack, re repackage whatever it back into a different MSI file, and then that that other MSI file gets installed onto our computers. And and because it's running without user interaction, we could uh, hang on a sec. The word they keep using is silently. That updated MSI then runs silently. So no user interaction, no screens, no, no, no questions to answer, and no next, next, finish. You just double click the MSI and it starts. Does its thing, and then it's done. With this, with this silent MSI kicking off a software install, from start to finish is, is no different than running, a, I don't know, like, a, like an IP config. Or, or, or a ping. Or, 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 or really, or, or really, any other executable at all. Oh, wait a minute. This means that a software installation is just an executable. I always thought there was more to it than that, but what, with all the these, the wizards that and, and the boxes and the whatnot that that these things are talking about, I I've been clicking through all these past couple of years. Next, next, finish with this IT thing, but a software installation. It's just like an executable. Now, if that's the case, I could I could log onto one of these machines and double click that executable and then run to the next computer and the next and and, and everything happens automatically I, I i bet that thing would even reboot the computer whenever it's done and that, that saved me from having to even go back just start it and go ah, that's automation but you know what would be real automation wait a minute a software installation is just an executable psexec runs executables Launches them remotely. Uh, I've been using PS exec, PS exec, whack whack, uh, whatever IP config for to get remote network stuff since the first day I found that awesome tool. But, but wait a minute, put that silent MSI on our file server and on a share somewhere, and I could PS exec whatever file server share uh, app dot. Uh, dot msi all day long never never have to leave my desk kick off installs all the time anytime even at night holy smokes we've got that desktop management thing don uses it could remotely run an executable on any computer anytime we, we could schedule this install we could, we could get it done for everyone at once, overnight. I, I've got to talk to Don.